everyone! So today I'll be revealing my top 10 travel bucket list to you of obviously the countries that I want to kind of like tick off the list in the next, well, probably 10 years, let's be realistic. But yeah, I thought I would talk about the countries that I want to visit. And if you have any good tips on visiting the countries that I'm going to mention today, please do leave them below in the comments, especially if you have some tips on how to visit them on a bit of a budget and maybe also alone as like a solo trip. But let's start with country number one. By the way, these are in a completely random order because it was hard to pick only 10 countries as it is. If it would be possible, I would like to explore every single part of this globe. So, you know, I really need to start working on that bucket list. Okay, too long of an intro, let's start with country number one, which is Iceland. Iceland is a country that sparked my interest only like a couple of years ago. The nature looks out of this world and I really want to visit, especially after my parents visited it last year and showed me all the pictures. It is stunning, stunning, stunning. And I would probably already have gone if I didn't want to do it as like a road trip. And as I've probably already mentioned here on my channel, I am petrified of driving. So I'm kind of waiting for like the perfect travel buddy to go with me. <laughs> that would be ideal. But yeah, I really, really want to go to Iceland and I want to do it not as a quick trip, but like to be there for like at least a week, 10 days, I don't know, and just drive around, go to all the locations, take a whole bunch of photos because that's one of the reasons why I also like to travel. I prefer like slow traveling, if that makes sense, because being able to take photos is like a big part of the experience for me because I just love it. And yeah, I like to take my time and take photos of absolutely everything and vlog along the way, you know the drill. But yeah, Iceland looks beautiful and I would of course prefer to go there during the time when you can also see the northern lights because yeah, that's definitely on my travel bucket list as well. Next is Hawaii. Not just for like the beaches, I guess. The Waikiki beach looks insane. I definitely want to see that. But because like the nature there seems so lush like the green colors of like the hills it just looks amazing and i've seen there's also like an active volcano there that you can actually like go there and like see the lava coming out and you can like fly above it with a helicopter and i really want to do that <laughs> there's at least two islands that i would like to visit so i'd probably have to like island hop <laughs> but yeah it just looks insane there's like so much landscape variety i feel like and i would really really love to get to know their culture as well i don't know i've just always been interested in that aspect so yes hawaii for sure <laughs> then i have two african countries that i want to visit the first one is kenya and the second one namibia number one reason to go to kenya would be to go on a safari and i also want to visit the maasai tribe i've always again been like fascinated by them and to Namibia, I want to go because of like all the landscapes. Ideally, I would love to join this really famous Slovenian traveler. His name is Zvona Sharuga. In case you're from Slovenia, I know who I'm talking about. If you're into traveling, you'll definitely know who he is. He travels, he takes amazing photos, his writing is incredible as well. And now he also organizes like tours to Namibia and like other countries around the world. But yeah, Namibia is apparently like his specialty. And I just really want to go on that tour with him him because I feel like he's the best person to like show you around apart from like the locals I guess I don't know I'm like a bit of a fangirl of his because I've been reading his books ever since I was like a little girl and have been like following his adventures ever since so yeah that would be an amazing experience to do next is a bit of a cliche but it is New York and even though I'm more attracted to like exotic locations I feel like New York is the place that you just have to visit like it's the city that you need to visit and yeah I really do want to visit it and like live out my Gossip Girl dream or something every time I watch Gossip Girl I want to go to New York specifically during the fall time for some reason I don't know but I feel like that's like when New York is like most beautiful and the weather is ideal as well I guess I don't know that's what I've heard so yeah I would love to go to New York during the fall time and just explore all the different areas and see what 
the big city life is really like because even though London is a big city I feel like the lifestyle here is still quite different from what the lifestyle in New York is I don't know New York is this whole different world in my head and maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm not but I definitely want to see it with my own eyes one day speaking of the United States I also want to do the tour the road trip around all the national parks especially on like the west coast it's something that I've been kind of looking into during my Christmas break because me and my mom had this crazy idea of you know doing it this summer but then we realized it's like 50 degrees in the desert and it's probably not the best time to spend like two weeks trekking around like the canyons <laughs> so we might have to you know postpone that and figure out a different time to go but yeah, I really want to do it. It just looks stunning and again, imagine all the photo opportunities. <laughs> Okay, let's jump on the other side of the globe to Asia. I have been to um, Indonesia and Sri Lanka so far. Absolutely loved both of them and I would definitely like to explore more of Indonesia. But I also want to go to Thailand because, you know, everyone needs to go to Thailand and it's pretty cheap. And I feel like that could potentially be a solo trip for me as well because it's so full of tourists now that I feel like it would be safe and easy to go around. I've always had this crazy idea of turning it into like a couple of months long tour of like Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos. Maybe I will do that one day or maybe I'll have to visit them all separately but I definitely do want to explore more of that part of the world. Um, the next thing on the list that's also there is the Philippines. Again, one of the destinations that kind of climbed onto my bucket list in the recent year or two, I would say, because a lot of YouTubers <laughs> have been visiting that part of the world and I've just been consuming a lot of vlogs from there, so obviously I want to go there as well now. But yeah, the Philippines look gorgeous, lots of nice beaches, a whole different culture, so yes, would love to go there at some point as well. Then another thing that I haven't done that I want to do is go on a cruise. I'm not sure if I would like it per se, because I would rather like spend more time outside exploring countries than like inside the ship and when the ship stops and you can go off you usually only have like a day or even half a day to explore which to me is never enough but saying that I think that it would be a great solution to see a lot of places in a shorter amount of time. I really want to go on a cruise around the Caribbean because you know I'll never be able to visit all those islands separately because there are just so many of them and I want to see them all. But yeah going on a cruise there would I guess allow me to visit as many as possible even though I wouldn't maybe have time to explore them fully but that might be useful when it comes to like smaller islands that you can actually get like a good idea of them in like a day or two because I'm not the kind of person that would go to an island and maybe explore it for a day and then spend the rest of the week or two just chilling on the beach. I'm definitely more of like an adventure kind of person. So yeah, I feel like a cruise over there would potentially work out great. And now the last thing that I have on my top 10 bucket list is actually here in the UK. It is Scotland. I really want to go to Scotland but again it's one of those destinations that I want to go explore with a car and yeah there's no way I'm gonna do it alone especially because here they drive on the other side of the road and I'm not ready for that but I really want to go to Edinburgh and I really want to go to um, the Isle of Skye. Edinburgh would be an easy place to explore for me so yeah I might go this year and explore Edinburgh only but yeah ideally I would um, love to explore some other areas as well. Okay, so that was my top 10 bucket list. Of course, like I said, there's tons of other places <laughs> that I want to visit. I haven't really mentioned any places in Europe apart from Iceland and Scotland, I think, but there is a whole bunch of cities I have yet to explore. Some of them are Copenhagen, Valencia, I would love to go to Norway, Finland, I love Greece, so I would like to check out more Greek islands as well. I also haven't mentioned South America. America at all, which obviously has a lot of countries worth visiting. One of the things that I really want to see are the salt lakes. Are they called the salt lakes in Bolivia? And you know, all the standard places. Japan would also be really great to visit and I would love to go back to Australia. I visited Australia in 
2010. I spent a month there and I've seen quite a lot already but I have tons more places to explore and at the end of the day I would actually love to go back to the places I've already visited as well because Australia is my favorite country in the world and I miss it every day so I would love to go back to Australia again but yeah that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it I would love to hear what your let's say top three travel bucket list destinations are so please leave them in the comments down below but thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon bye about to leave already packing Come with me, I'm not really asking